underscore. Right. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to and welcome you to the November 15th Zoning Board of Approval, Book Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. And we will, um, first, we can have a motion to open the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we will start with a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. And next we would, if we could have a motion to approve the minutes of October 18th. I had, you got my corrections, right? Yeah. So with the corrections. All right, I think everybody's following. Right, can we see the good I'm all in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. And now, and now we will go to um, the first item in old business, which is 55 Howard Street. Good evening. Representing Mrs. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your appearance. Who's speaking? It's Nicholas Vera, architect. Thank you. The loss is that you were assigned to you. So many you asked me to, and you gave me a referral to the Occupational Review Board, which I had talked to a couple of times. And we kept working, working, working on uh, and finally received kind of an NLK, provided I did a couple of things, including going back on some of the proposals. Um, one of the things that the ARB asked me to do was just cut down the size of the porch, the length of the porch as opposed to would appear to uh, the property owners on the south side. So we cut that porch down uh, four feet um, in length, um, and that reduced our site plan um, lot coverage. Um, because we're before the board to ask for a reduction of existing non conforming lot coverage from 54.8%. Uh, and now I am back to 30.4%. So a little bit different from when we started out this project. And again, that was based on a couple of comments from the Office of Review Board. Uh, they also asked me to you know, look at the volume, the scope of the size of the proposal. And as you know, in previous testimony that we were looking to raise the house up because we're kind of in this little FEMA zone. It's a uh, FEMA zone that's either here or there. We're trying to elevate the house in anticipation of you know, things changing in the future. Um, so we were looking to elevate the house by 30 inches, which is one of the increases in the volume of the house as we were looking at the house up. And we kicked it on um, our east elevation if you go to the elevation page. If you're there, uh, you, know. you can see how we're the, the difference in the elevation is depicted in red on our um, proposed east elevation or front elevation. Uh, that's by virtue of having to elevate the house to the elevation it gives into this uh, out of this FEMA zone um, to be more compliant with the house. Okay, and by raising the house up, obviously that's going to increase the existing non conforming pyramid. Um, that we have uh, as depicted on the existing front east elevation, which is up in the upper left hand corner of the uh, page A201. Um, we have an existing uh, volume uh, due to pyramid 520 cubic uh, feet on the south side. On the north side, it's 1,000, sorry, 1,032 cubic feet. Um, and our delta there is 477 square feet. So it's a little bit of a reduction from when we first started that because you may or may not recall we were asking for a lot of money. Again, this is just thankfully working with the opposition people. And if you jump down to our south elevation, again, on the bottom left hand corner is the existing uh, south elevation, and you can see what the non conformity is there 369 cubic square feet. Cubic feet uh, by raising the house and doing what we're doing. That changing anything 
uh, addition wise on the house on that side and front is the face of the existing nonconformity. Um, but it's uh, now 846 cubic feet by virtue of elevating the house. Um, and I think that's a filter of uh, or way across the board of 398 cubic feet. And I don't think that's changed uh, all that much from when we first year and some of the proposals. Um, actually, I, have to, I apologize, it, it, it did change because we were asking for almost a two story house at one time. So you can see the significant changes from where we are to where we are today. Any questions so far? Um, so I do have one question. Are you saying that the ARB did approve you to add, I can't tell exactly how many feet on the red um, where you're proposing the, the front elevation? They um, kind of said if I made a couple of changes and they were the reason we for those changes, they couldn't, I mean, we're not there for There was a referral. Just uh, was a discussion. Thank item. you, it was a discussion, thank you. Uh, Okay, what they could potentially change, obviously, they can't make any kind of improvements unless you're going to do the decision. So that's what we started here. We went there, we're back here. You didn't, but the, the front elevation isn't changing, it's just going up. That's correct. The front okay, elevation so is this is the same as this, it's just that it's they've, just they've raised it. We're elevating the house up. They elevated the whole house. Right. So. <laughs> So then I understand that, but what, why are you showing the red? Because now it's not conforming. I'm showing the red as almost as if it is an addition to the house. So you can see this. As if it is an addition. I got it's it. Just but it is an addition. In their view, we're changing the elevation. I, I got right? it. So you're not, you're not adding it up. You're just taking the house and moving. It down you're here. moving the, yes. Okay, I just wanted to be clear on that. Don't the square footage or anything like that inside the house. On that front elevation. If you remember going back, my original application, we were almost a two story house. At the yes. Front, so yes. Major addition, you know, major, you know, major change to what we were originally uh, looking to propose. And again, thanks to, you know, working with you guys in, in the ARB, this is where we're, where we're at right now. So, okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, you want to proceed to the next phase? Other elevation. Um, now, now we're speaking to the addition. Okay. Um, as you can see, the sky plane that's proposed on the uh, west or rear elevation. If you look at the existing west or rear elevation, you can see that obviously we don't we're not conforming based on the green that you see on the, uh, on, the on the drawing on the upper left hand side. Um, the red represents the new addition. Um, Basically, because of where we are sky plane wise, uh, there is virtually no change to our. Well, there is a delta of 398 square feet, but that's as it already existed on the front elevation. But you can basically see there's really no change um, on that sky plane other than what we're proposing to do. It's 502 cubic feet, uh, as shown in red on the left hand side of the proposed coastal elevation. And it's 392 cubic feet um, based on the, on the right side of the elevation. Can I just, there, sure. there's one thing we're noticing now on these drawings. They're all to average grade. That's not how the pyramid is calculated now. It's to natural grade. So those numbers need to be tied in to, um, I think we mentioned this before, probably a long time ago, to spot elevations, at least spot elevations on the property lines. I know that property is pretty flat. It's pretty flat, right. So it's not probably going to change the numbers that much, but it Okay. You know, it's just that technically it's not average grade. Okay. Right. So, yeah, so that's a misnomer. Then I want to correct that. Um, and I did order some spotted elevations. We know our sidewalk is higher than we do with that. It is, like you said, you can just drop it. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, okay, and then if you go to the sky plane, proposed sky plane on the uh, the north elevation again, you can see how it relates to the Howard Street side. Um, and again, that's due to the fact that we're elevating the house up. Um, and then there would be really no change to our sky plane or our pyramid on, on that middle class. That addition is set back on our face, not the interest by our proposed additions. Can you list somewhere the total pyramid and you seeking? Break it down to this. Sure. Okay. 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 Okay.
Because uh, one thing I'm confused about is on the south elevation, you've got up at the top, or well, maybe I can't, is it 846 cubic feet proposed? Yeah, 846. But then down below it says 918. I mean, what? where does the, I don't quite understand how the 846 fits in with the 477 and the numbers below the house, which are 520, 918, and 3. 98. Is that just the stuff to the left of the that's gable? Yes. Oh, that's not. That's correct. So the, um, so the, so the eight for the eight forty six is what I, I just got confused about portion that. red or is it, it yeah but, but then what's the 477 477 is what's out of conformance i i mean the 477 is our delta is our change so from 846 proposed okay and if you take what's already existing the delta the change is 477 so I think hmm. we asked right now by the um, just to list those things so we can clarify that and have those up to you. Okay. So in other words, the difference is the, the existing violation. That's correct, yes. So I think we would be able to clarify that by saying south elevation, looking for a a, a you know existing nonconformance is X. I see the rep of that. So so it's it puts three sixty nine existing and then you're gonna ask for four seventy seven addition. And I think I believe that number will have this and that's up at the thousands. top. Sorry, it's mm -hmm. up here. So the total is is like Here's four nine, yeah. Oh, I see over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like nine. You're asking for like nine hundred. Is that the total ish? No, I, more. I, I think so. I think that's. I'll have to total that after. So it's a little. Bit. No, it's on the other side too, though. Yes. And that's um five hundred on the other side. So it's really more like. 1400 or so. Oh, totally correct. Like I said before, I think the original was talking about those numbers in the thousands. These numbers in the agenda are not the numbers you're proposing now numbers in the original that's the original advertisement that is correct so again if you look at those numbers to get what we have now it's, it's, it's right but it that's why it's confusing to, yeah it's confusing yes i understand so yeah it'd be helpful to have I some think we've already asked update on them clarify that you know, the numbers you know so that we're saying south elevation this north elevation that right okay. existing and then right i think it's 1377 I'll clarify that, and also with the with the uh, spot elevations that I'll get, we'll make sure that we do that grading correctly for so it. everything's accurate. Yes. Right. Okay, that'd be helpful. And do you remember what the total was before you made the changes? <laughs> but in two thousand something, three thousand uh, something. I think at one time it was like thirty seven hundred. Oh, okay. okay. It was significantly higher. Um, might have been more because I'm not sure if I get all those numbers up. I mean, it's it's still higher than we would want it to be. I mean, it's much better than it was, certainly. But that's some more material. And I I might have missed uh, the last meeting when this came up, but can you remind me or tell me why you had to raise the house by 30 inches? We're in a, a, a weird FEMA zone. Um, 
If we're not in an A7, we're in this, um, and I have to just go look at my notes. So I talked to the building inspector. He was like, well, you don't necessarily have to raise it, but I probably would with this groundwater and, you know, some things that we probably need to do on the site. And in the future, you know, I mean, our groundwater is pretty high. There's water in the pool constantly. And, you know, you can't keep pumping that water and the risk of the pump it out. Going into the driveway, that's going to have to do it. Closer. So he suggested that we raise the house. Uh, you just add it to the foundation or you the 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 yeah. and then and then raising it for the fact of the cross space up with the slab right now it's mine. Uh, but we put a you know a few a few of the flying cross space slab down there. So <laughs> raise it up so that we won't have ground that's sitting in there. It's the dampness that's coming from the house. Yeah. As you know, you close it the house for the winter time, you come back in the springtime and it's gonna swell to good. Oh, just, oh. It, just anecdotally, I did a renovation on this house a million years ago, yeah. and the, yeah, for um, Scott Keller, um, and yeah, the there is virtually no crawl space. There's no crawl. I mean, I don't think you can even fit under it. Yeah, I there mean, are places that you can, yeah. but it's like in the this house. A couple feet, almost, like in yeah, some place, it's like this. Well, there's no spots. You, there's actually there's a. Um, yeah, there's a hatch. Down. Yeah, you but can it from the outside, but it's probably uh, from the outside. Days, yeah, so it's yeah. not. You can can't really crawl in it. No, 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 no. And it's oh, it, it's wet. It is wet. It's and wet it in there. Privy. I mean, we have a fair meetings in that house. We have to open all the doors, all the windows, yeah. and you know, just to get everything air in that house. Yeah, elevating the house would be the way. Yeah, so I was trying to keep the minimum, um, you know, as much as we can. We want to be able to get some some duct work down that we don't need mechanical things. Nice to have it behind the wall. So. The other Some thing about ventilation. Yeah, you know, the other thing about this house is it's sort of highly comp compromised. I don't know if the ARB right realizes that because the previous owner, the Scott Keller, stripped the house mm. basically. Of all and, anything is terrible. Yeah, that like the sold the flooring and all kinds of stuff. So it was a challenge to sort of put it back together. But um mm -hmm. There are a few similar houses in the area to this house, right? I believe there's yeah, I recall that are almost identical. Yeah, uh, that have been added onto or not. Um, it's kind of a kind of a neat house, but and as you probably recall, that that staircase in there is basically a straight line. Yes, yes, it's not. You know, so I get from the front door to you know, the second floor is virtually a vibe. First time I was there was from house this and that kind of stuff. So it's, it is a little dangerous, and the woman who lives there is. I'm trying to get her onto the first. So. I guess the only question we might have is on the second floor, is there anything you can do in either a case, the first floor or the second floor, in terms of reducing the plate height or anything? I don't know what your outside plate heights are. Well, we came down with the, one of the things the Airbnb had me look at us you know, <coughs> lowering that plate height. And I believe in one area we do lower the plate height. You have to see the second to seven foot high. Um, the area where we do have an eight foot plate height is the outer pyramid, so we're not piercing. Right. The no, it's just at the outer edges. Right. So you're at seven feet. Right. We're at seven feet where, you know, it would be right. the pyramid is compromised. So we didn't right. lower that. So. And and the second floor floor is just the existing floor extended. That's correct. Right. Okay. And and what's the height on the first floor? The height on the first floor is eight foot. Yeah, the Have you thought about ways to further reduce the pyramid violation? <laughs> I thought about ways to get in, and, and this is the last go around. Um, There have been major changes um, on that particular street. How about the neighbors? Are any complaints of neighbors concerning? 
know what it's about. Yeah, those things here. Um, I think when we were, you know, uh, on June, I didn't remember anybody putting their hands up and asking to be heard. So, uh, but there's nothing officially in the uh, in file that you know, anybody's complaining or concerned. So, um, I believe the person said this. Is that that one of the, I thought one of the uh, neighbors was complaining in terms of the height. Well, probably your, maybe originally, yes, the original application, yes. but. No, not not since then. then. No, because this have you this came up a number of years ago now. Um, about a year ago. Is that long? Seems longer. Following Ham's question, did would you hear specifically from that neighbor who complained that this new set of plans is no, no, no. is is acceptable to him or her? Might be useful to get them to affirmatively. We can, I can reach out. Absolutely, my my client reached out. And you can show them how you listened to their suggestion. I'm still listening. So um, Good. It, it doesn't, there is no actual proposed survey, correct? No, I did, I did a version by site plan. Right, but we need a, a proposed survey to, to actually grant a variance. I just want to make sure you understand that. And that should show the spot elevations at the property line. I did have a survey then, to do that. Right. Because that okay. might... I know that you've got numbers on here, but that might change some of the variance items, actually. Um, it seems to me, are you, are you polling the board yet or not yet? Sure. Or do we want to ask for the public? Is anyone here from the public that would like to speak up 55 Howard? No. Okay. So Alex? I was just gonna say it looks like you've made a lot of reductions. And uh, you know, and if you look at the elevations, nothing seems kind of grossly out of out of whack or out of proportion. But like Scott said, 13, almost 1400 is still a fairly large number in terms of variance. So if there's a way to bring it down a little further, since you have to go back and redo the survey anyway, I think it'd be worth. I guess, Liz, we could put in something in the decision about raising it in terms of the floodplain. I mean, that sort of thing. So yeah, the uniqueness not, of that. The uniqueness of the right. property yeah. in terms of raising. What's the width of the um, property? You know that? It's, it's narrow. So it's 56 in the front and yeah, 50 in the back. Yeah, it's Got it. It, it, it comes in. Jogging, yes. Jogging, yeah. That's what I was. Okay. There's the 50. I see. Yeah. Okay. Do we have many other houses that have been used yet? Some. This would be interesting to look back. We've had houses that have been raised. But the one down further, on Glover, um, right? Um, Glover, right? What, what is that? Right, yeah, yeah. We have had a number of houses yeah. that have been raised, yeah. So, good to see. so it, it does impact some of them, would not have been in violation unless they had had to be raised because of the um floodplain, got it. Um, the okay. FEMA, basically, yep. Yeah. Right. Rod, oh, Rogers Street, yeah. But down below, down on the other end, the the other end of Glover, there've been houses down in there that we've that have been. I've seen them. That's yeah. what I was trying to. I'm just trying to. Um, but no, no other ones yet on Howard or on. I think what else? Yeah, Howard and middle, middle. I don't have the issue. Garden, maybe. I'm trying to think Garden, streets. Yeah. Okay, we can look at that. Glover. Okay. So I think um, if you could come back with what we asked for, and then we can. Oh, this is a different. Not the same. I'm one. thinking different house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they all start to look the same. <laughs> um, so Nicholas, we we appreciate your update and. Um, if you could come back with the survey and with the um, site 
modification so we'll know the calculation for the pyramid that would be very helpful and and that any tweaks to make it a little less is always well received Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And, and just for the record, I was thinking of a totally different house. So ignore my anecdotal comments. It was a different <laughs> they house. They all start to look the same. <laughs> See, the last time I was there, I couldn't get to the back. It was locked. Pardon? Yes. Um, uh, we have a motion to table, 55 Howard. Second. All in favor? Aye. Great. And now we would need a motion to table 26 Walker to or adjourn 26 Walker until the De December 20th meeting. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, great. And now we will move to 45 Hillside Drive. Is so anyone else um, on Zoom for 45 Hillside Drive? Okay, we can look to call again at the end, or do we just adjourn? What do you think? Okay. Um, now we will move to 11 Henry Street. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear the speaker. I'm sorry. Oh, my name is Anne Doyle, Michael Smith Architects, and I'm here with our clients and owner of the house, Jacob, Jacob Frumpkin, being back there. And um, we're here. Excuse um, me, just we will need to swear you in. You, oh, okay. Okay, so if you can just raise your right hand, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So thank you. So, um, this is Frumpkin, and I'm here with Jacob Frumpkin, and this project is a kind of a full renovation of the house. But the parts that um, we need to talk about today are the two very items. Um, and if you go to page 002, it's kind of a diagram which shows. Plan and the land sort of. Um, so, our two variance items are. Um, mm, the, the diagram, the two variance items we're going to talk about are the, the roof line at the back, the rear extension, and then also the parking, the locate the parking from where it sits now on Roger Street right. to the side of the house on Henry Street. So, you can see those, those parking on that diagram. And, I guess um, we can also, I mean, it's not really much to talk about with the parking. It's a request. It's in a small, narrow side yard, which actually becomes one of lot. I believe most of it is considered a rear yard. And um, it's around 14 feet wide, so our space is of 9 feet by 20, may approach in the 5 foot setback required for parking space. And on the um, legal definitions here, it says we're going to encroach maybe two and a half feet into that five foot uh, space with two allowances for planting on either side of parking, planting next to the house, and then planting next to the western property line. How many bedrooms will the house have? It's, it's, it's a three bedroom house now. It's going to be a three bedroom house. What's happening is one small addition on the western side. We're not increasing square foot or anything. We're moving square foot from the western side over towards the eastern side, which is the side of Rogers Street. And we're just reconfiguring space. So no, well, actually, I just I'm just talking about because parking is based on bedroom count. Yes, three bedrooms. So, so it's just spaces. three, yes. right? That's all you're gonna have. So yeah, three bedrooms. Above. Okay. So um I guess any questions on the parking? Um Yeah. You can also see it on the uh, layer uh, surface that I have down. Just another anecdote. This one I know is true. <laughs> <laughs> Across the street, 
at, I think it's 20, Henry, yep. we did allow uh, a variance for parking closer to the property line than five feet, which is right across this down a bit from um, this property. Well, so to the, towards Madison? Um, towards, um, no, the yeah, other way, yeah. towards oh. division, right? Got it. <laughs> okay, so that's it good would to be, know. It's, yep. it's this house right here. Got it. There's a driveway here, close to closer to this property line of this house. Oh, that's the one that they recently did. Right. Yes, yes. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So that's good to know that we have a precedent okay. Now, um, given that you are looking to put the pool in, there was a request from um, the public to not move. The driveway. Given there's so much traffic on Henry and so much parking mm -hmm. and how tight it is already, I don't know if you saw that letter. Yeah, there was a comment from somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, not to move parking. Um, Actually, the neighbor right across the street. Across Henry Street? Yes. Yeah, I mean, fine, but it, it's, I mean, it's a single family house. It's one car, maybe two cars. It's not. Um, I, Just so the, owner, the owners probably park on Henry Street in front of the house anyway. They park correct? there anyway, yes. That's why That's, they wanted to move the park into the site because they never enter from the back. So. Right. The previous yeah. owner used to enter from the back all yeah. the time. But yeah. I so think they, they don't. They always go through the front. Yeah. So, so cool. if they're going to use their driveway, that would be helpful. <laughs> huh? Hopefully they'll use their driveway. I'm sorry for to make you go backwards, but I, I missed the October meeting when this was, this one came up, I believe. Yeah. No, no, this is the first, oh. this is the first time. Yeah. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we canceled. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. It was all under old business. It was under old business. Just because they never came. Okay. We opened the public hearing. Oh, okay. All right, so, then. So, could you explain, because I'm less informed, um, to summarize again why you decided to relocate the driveway so we understand why the need does the pool, but yeah. the pool in? Because of the backyard and then also the fact that the owner They actually typically don't have a problem on really finding parking on Henry Street, and that's normally where they park and go in the front door. So, this was kind of for them a convenience that they would park. And the adjoining property has a driveway as well at the other side of that property line. So it, it seemed like a reasonable place to so right. the two drives next to each other. The two drives next to each other. So yeah. No one's encroaching on the quieter parts of the property. And then also to open up the backyard so you could put a pool in. Is that the idea? Yeah. So, well, I mean pool, yes, but also Quite a tight lot, you know, it's not that large, so just to have some backyard space. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And obviously, uh, there's no way to reduce that, that, uh, or large to set back from 2.5 to 5 feet to get that full five oh, feet. He, he, he put, if you park right next to the house, you might be one foot over. It's, it's a little crooked, that's why I'm not giving you the dark, uh, yeah, exact dimension. Oh, but, I see. Yeah. You know, the, the lines aren't 100%, but, um, Parallel, right. yeah. but you, you'll, you know, it just seemed better to kind of locate the parking so you could landscape it and, you know, not have it squashed in the house. I guess the house. I got you. All right. Thank you. And so you're just going to close everything up on Roger Street. Yeah. Because you'll take the garage out. Yeah. So do we want to talk about the patio? Well, um, one question we had was there are two patios shown. On the proposed? Uh, yes, the proposed yeah. survey. There's one adjacent to the pool and there's one sort of adjacent to yeah. this. So what are those patios? They, I believe, are stone and they know- We, we mean stone gravel or stone? No, I believe they're pay, pay pay. stone. Okay. And I know it was calculated by the landscape architects as a page. They, they calculated it and gave it Right, but they shouldn't those have setbacks, Liz? Yeah. And they don't, right? So, um, the, 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 the setbacks have not been identified. The, the setbacks have not been identified because one of them 
the one at the end of the pool. Well, it's yes, that that patio is closer than uh, 20 feet to the Roger Street, but the other patio is too close to the rear property line because it's not 10 feet. Yeah. And the patio is considered like an accessory. It's an accessory, right? A structure, an accessory structure. Okay. Right. Okay. So would that require them relocating to the other side of the pool, perhaps? Or or well, no, it's gonna require a, or a variance it. or not having it, or I don't know. I don't we'll you do, could we'll put it, it at the other end of the pool. I don't know what you want to do with that, but that might there would be <sighs> another variance. <clears throat> Plus the other one would technically. Um, the one on Roger, the one closer to Roger Street, right? Or could you just have, hmm? or could they just have grass? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you it's could. If you did, if you, if they're gravel or grass, they don't have setbacks. Okay. If it's some sort of hard material like bluestone or brick or something like that, no matter what is set in, then they do yeah. have setbacks. Yeah. I believe they were intended to be stolen, like ghosts. And uh, they did, I'm just surprised the surveyor didn't mention that they were an issue with the setback. So when they calculated the um, total lot coverage, mm -hmm. do we know if they took those into consideration? They did, yeah. So the total lot coverage. Sorry, I guess. It's okay. Yes, what happened is um, okay. since, uh, yeah, the 2018 is what we were using because that's the garage, so the kind of the garage and the termite is breaking down. But when we spoke to the building inspector before about it, he said that we could use the, you know, the lot cover and cover whatever that the garage provided, even though it had to be removed back in 2018. I think it's actually. You mean meaning yeah, we could use it. You could use it towards something else, yeah, towards yeah. other levels. That that's not true though, is it, Liz? I never. I, I will have to ask Chris. I don't know if he made that determination. Oh, well, you he just said he did. Two thousand eighteen. I don't like to get to get the pre-existing nonconformity of it usually. I think right. If you take it out, you take it down, you lose. Two years ago. Yeah. No, he wasn't know. here. If you take it out, you lose it. Plus, it's um. But I believe the. It's gone up though. Anyway. Yeah, the, you need a variance for the fact that the lot coverage has gone up. The lot coverage has increased, or is okay. above twenty five percent. It was thirty four. No, she's that's saying. what we've read. So she thinks it's used. But yes, it's something we need to know. Yeah, and we will. I mean, if it's not possible, we'll have to notice it. No, but it goes from twenty nine to thirty one, or yeah. almost thirty two. How could that be a reduction? My but it's, it's a reduction from the 2018 lot coverage. But then the question is if that's if that's you may not. capable or yeah. not. Yeah, because in the past, if something has disappeared, you don't have it anymore. You don't get yeah. you don't get credit for it. No. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. the other thing confusing unless thing get, is unless you get approval to swap one square footage for another, right? No, there isn't. No, there's no. Well, I mean, unless we give them a variance, yeah. but just so you understand, yeah. we had like a million building inspectors yeah. and most of them didn't understand the code at all. There was I mean, a time period of- Harry can testify to that. Yeah. There was a lot of turnover at one point. Yeah. In fact, Carrie was the building inspector for a while. <laughs> So yeah, no, I mean we'll work with it, it, it but we were we were under the impression from conversations before that we could work with the number including the garage that was removed. And and who told you that? It was oh I can look at his name up. This I don't have it on the top of my head. It's about two and a half years ago. No, I didn't know if you were going to say like the person you bought the house from told you that. No, no, no. no. I was trying. The garage was there when they, when the house was bought. It was shortly after that. It was it was just um, leaning and um, unsafe. Understood. All right, so just that, in terms of now, in the next go round, you're going to need to add that as a variance item, the, yeah. the lot coverage. Yeah, yeah. Piece. Okay, and, or, or we don't add it. Yeah, okay. Right. So yeah, you, or, you, or you don't increase lot coverage. Right, you can either take those patios out, yeah. make sure you have the right numbers. And yeah, garage then you have to be below 25%. The old, the old garage doesn't 
Yeah. So yeah, you'd have to take enough so out to be are below. You confirming that the old garage we cannot count, or you're going to? We're check? confirming. Well, Liz wants to check with the building inspector to make sure that he will. But, but that's the way we've done it in the past. Okay. So okay. we're not so assuming. But, but I think what Scott's also saying, let's just assume you can't use any of the, of the garage coverage, right? Mm -hmm. But if the current existing coverage is thirty-one percent, uh -huh. sorry. The, 25. Even if you're going down from say 31 to 29, yeah. don't you still need a variance to go over that 25%? Okay. Yeah. Just to, you know, and often okay. you'll get it because it it's already existing, but nonetheless, okay. it does have to be formally so variance. Right? It's really not it's existing. Take a look at the plan, the it's one really one not existing. If the garage is in there. Yeah, because they're still, even still the garage, and they're not, she's still maybe above 20. Right. 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 right, and then just remember yeah. that the, the, right. the, the materials totally. that you use totally. on the patios yeah. becomes important just yeah. in terms of additional um, like setbacks, yeah. right? Because you'll want um, setbacks and because it may have to be re the only thing I'm getting at is it may have to be renoticed, in which case that's going to affect your schedule. Well, the yeah. yeah. It is, however, we'll lose it. And right. Yeah. So it's both lock coverage and setbacks. Yeah. Um, so oh, and the parking was I mean, I think it my, I, I, makes I'm, sense. I'm, I'm pretty okay with the parking. As long as you have you know, some space on between you and the neighbor to plant. Yeah. Out. Yeah, that's what we I think that that will be okay. And the neighbor knows. Have you shown the plans to the neighbor? Well, you notified the neighbors um, of right. this. Perfect. Experience. It would always be. No, but. Right, but. I think. It would always be able to get a, a, a friendly letter from the neighbor just saying that they're fine with you, relocate, with you relocating the driveway to. Is Next to their driveway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. No, it makes sense to have driveways together. Then it's just yeah. the cars that are offending each other, not the people. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. So we'll we'll relook at all the site plan stuff like we did. Okay. So should we look at the um, the uh, pyramid rule um, variances? Um, like that was in black and white, but. Um, Basically, uh, I don't know if the other house is um, the front is the apartment, so there's the front is the rival house, and then there's an addition at the back, which is the other. Uh, going, um, you know, different slopes, dormers, um, piece of it's one story. So our intention is not to like change too much we keep the original Greek revival front piece of the house mm -hmm. and the um the rear addition we reconstruct the roof lines on that simplified it um we keep the e pipe as it is and we change the slope so it matches the historic front part of the house and just kind of clean it up and simplify it so um the existing addition um is non compliant with the pyramid rule, and we would be increasing that slightly because you know the roof now is like this, we're just making the pitch match the existing house. So, um, I don't know, do you have questions? You can see on the elevations existing in the proposed, really, the only elevation that's affected the street elevation is affected, but that's existing, we're not changing anything there. Um, it's the old house. It's the western side um, at the rear where we're just raising the, um, the roof of the existing addition. So are you... Sheet 201, that really kind of tells the story. Um, not 201, sorry. Um, 203. So are you actually tearing off the rear addition or just changing it? We are, we are rebuilding it. So... That raises that other question then, right, Liz? We're rebuilding it same, um, you know, it's, it's no larger, the same footprint. I think what Scott's asked, are you, are you demolitioning the existing I think it will. floor and then just rebuilding it? We may save some of the first floor and then the... the um, so 
Liz, again, this is sort of a different situation, right? Because I mean, it depends on the municipality, but I, it's, you know, sometimes if you keep a wall up, you're good. Right, right. Really right. Yeah. So it's much different than demolishing entirely in 2018 and coming back. If I still have the grandfather rights, no. Right. No, we're not doing that. Yeah. No. So, sorry, what did you say? It's different it's than different what? Different than demolishing an entire structure in 2018 and claiming grandfathered rights in that structure. Okay. Gone. Okay. So just just to confirm then, because there's a big difference, because it's either 1363 or 484. So we can mm -hmm. assume that it's only 484, just the increase, not the pre-existing non-conforming. Right. Okay. Okay. Which is a lot. Right. Which is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot better than 1364. If all we're increasing it is 484, I'm fine Me too. with it. I don't think anybody's really going to notice. And it's in the rear. It's in the rear. It's not going to really be seen. It affects only one property really and that's the side that has the they have a swimming pool back there too don't they the adjacent property where the driveway is yes and the swimming pool is sort of on that side you know, the house isn't close to it and the eve is staying the bulk of the eve is staying the same height. and the neighbor on rogers which would be behind you there's vegetation yeah. There, or you're going to be adding vegetation? We're not really, we're not increasing out that way. So they will have this instead of a pitch and then we do coming out. It's just going to be one of the most different lining up with the existing front house, the old house. And there's no decks or anything going out to no. look at them. It's just, um, let's see, two or two. There's just window. Plus, there's no pyramid violation in that direction. No. Right. It's just just Plenty on the room. side. It's all on the western side, side right. right? And that's where the driveway is. Yep. And the, there's a garage here. No, the garage is gone. Right. No. Oh, there on their side on the yeah, yeah. On the man called the Madison. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it seems to me that your two main remaining issues are the side yard setbacks on the patios. Mm -hmm. uh, or rear yard step back on, the pat on one of the patios yeah. and then the lot coverage issue you need, exactly. you need to get straight. And then also just making sure that you're properly accounting for all the variance requests because the lot coverage one is not included here. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, I think that's okay. Sum it up. We'll come back then with the advice like time based on. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. And otherwise, I'm fine. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, fine. Yeah, so I'm fine. So we can keep the, the car thing. We yeah. keep the roof line change and we come back with the lot cover. Yeah. I mean, you still have to keep the variance. You still have to keep the variance in there, of course, because we have to. Yeah. 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 Okay. But those are the issues. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. We can have a motion to table this. Yeah, for December. For December 20th. So move, second. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, thank you very much. And now we will move on to the decision on 48 units. Oh, we should decide what to do with this. All right, so we could second call 45 Hillside Drive. Anybody on Zoom for 45 Hillside Drive? Okay, so we will adjourn for, I don't know how many times this has been, um, 45 Hillside Drive to December 20th. Uh, motion? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Now we'll move on to the decision for 48 Union. John Good, 48 Union Street, um, the application is to construct a two-story mission to the pre-existing non-conforming two-family residents. Um, I'm sorry, Liz, could you just speak up a little bit, please? I'm sorry? 
He's just better. moving up to so you can hear her better. Can you hear me better? Yes, that's that's better. Thank you. I just hear the paper shuffling. So. Okay, this is an application to construct a two-story addition to the pre-existing non-performing two-family residence and required um, pyramid fee, uh, setback fee, and also to grant the variance to allow the non-conforming use, in this case, the two-family home in the R20 zoning district, an enlargement or extension, which cannot exceed 50% of the gross floor area of such building or structure actually devoted to the non-conforming use of the effective date of it first having become non-conforming. So the board um, considered the application and the property is comprised of 7,530 square feet. It's 45 foot feet wide um, in the R20 zoning district where 20,000 square feet is required or uh, and the lot width is required to be 100 feet. Um, therefore, the lot is non-conforming with respect to lot area and lot width. Additionally, the property um, is a pre-existing non-conforming two-family home, and the, the property, the house is located at the zero lot line on the western side. So any addition to the um, property in the house would require pyramid relief from the board at the very least, and setback relief as well. Um, so for the reasons set forth in the written determination, the board decided to grant variances to the question. Great. We yeah. Yeah. So if we can make a motion to approve the decision for 48 Union that Liz just read to us. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. All right. So now we're going to make a motion to go into an executive um, meeting session. Second. So someone can so move. I second. All in favor? Aye. So if there's anyone on the public Zoom, we need to turn you off. And um, But you have to come back. Don't, don't. She does. Yeah, we have to come back. Barbara. Yes. We're just going. We're just going to executive session for a little bit. We'll be right back. All right. No problem. I'm still here.